Last year I tried one of the oyster mushroom kits and after I was finished harvesting the mushrooms I put the remaining material in the dirt in case it would continue growing. And sure enough, after a rainstorm, a couple of mushrooms popped up. Incidentally, the mushrooms that grew in my yard were dark brown rather than bright white, and I suppose it's because they were exposed to sunlight. The ultraviolet light also helps them develop vitamin D. However, since they were growing in my yard, they were exposed to insects. I could tell by looking at the gills that something had eaten all of them and I assumed it was a snail. I didn't see any snails or other insects on the mushroom, but when I looked very closely at the gills, I noticed some tiny dark spots that looked like eggs. However, they were slowly wiggling. What are these things? Perhaps some insect had laid its eggs on this mushroom, and these were the larvae. They were so difficult to see that after I found them, and looked around for others, I couldn't find them a second time. So I rinsed the mushrooms in water and tried to ignore them. I cooked them in my usual manner, as I'm doing here with commercial oyster mushrooms. I tear them off into bite-sized pieces and spread them onto a baking sheet. Then I toast them for a few minutes at a low temperature until they are soft, and then I sprinkle some powdered salt on them. Unlike button mushrooms, the oyster mushrooms are drier and chewier, and they remind me of chicken. You can pick them up with your fingers and eat them like potato chips or corn chips. I wouldn't want an entire meal of them, but they're nice as an appetizer.